What do you think? Yes, this shirt has Japanese text on it. I will be wearing this every single time that I talk about anime. Uh, unless I find different shirts that have a very, very identical style. Might have to get a larger size for this one. It is a bit tight when I bend, so... Uh, anyway. <clears throat> Sometimes watching your favorite anime isn't enough. You also want to drink that anime. And... This is why I should really script shit. Good thing that I have myself covered! No exaggeration, I actually found this a couple of weeks ago at my local GameStop for $15. This is real. Anya, Bond, the logo, it's got this very, very, very identical color, do not microwave, do not soak, gently hand wash only, because this is a very, very limited item, I can't believe that I'm actually holding something like this in my hand, so, yeah. Anyway, this intro's gone on long enough, I'm gonna go make some coffee, and then we will return to Spy Family with Mission 2. There we go. That's better. That's a chocolate peanut butter cup coffee. That is actually a thing. Of course, I got my Anya pin so people can say, Hey, you've got Anya. Anya! <laughs> yeah. I will also be wearing this shirt, by the way, when I go see the movie. So, Spy Family, Mission 2. Secure a wife. Let's finally get back into this. Need my remote. Alright, I shall watch the episode and then get back to you with my overall positives, any negatives, any mixed thoughts, and my overall thoughts on the episode. So, let's get back into it. So, here we go. Let's just get right into it so that way this doesn't take forever. Positives, I love your uh, introduction um, as uh, seem seemingly like, a, not really a maid, but like a, a waitress, I guess. Um, and we see her uh, assassin job. We don't see too much of it, just like a, a very brief, sorry, got a notification there, a very brief moment of it, um, uh, of her introduction. We got a, a phone call f uh, from her brother, Yori. I still roll the R because it's Japanese. Um... I think his voice actor is the same as Kotori from the Ice Guy and his cool female colleague. Um, not too much Anya in this. She has maybe like five lines at most. Um, I I like this episode quite a bit. Um, I like that Lloyd and Yor, uh, Yor uh, they kind of uh, uh, they have some really interesting chemistry here. Um, they're both pretending, but they uh, eventually in the series, of course, they actually start to legitimately care for each other. Especially for Anya. I like that uh, the idea that women, at least in this universe where the show takes place in, uh, are suspected of uh, wrongdoings or uh, being assassins or spies uh, if they're not married in their 20s, I guess. It's kind of sexist, but it's kind of fascinating, though. I do have to admit that. An interesting idea. Um, I mean, with Yor, she actually is an assassin. So, well, it kind of works. But it kind of comes across as sexist if you, you know, think about it in a in like any other way. But I do like that uh, Yor is an absolute badass. Um, Lloyd is pretty good in this one. I, I love the ending, especially when they're running away from these guys who are trying to shoot them down from Lloyd's mission uh, from a, a previous scene in this episode. And Yor um, asks uh, asks him to marry her, and he just stops in midair for a second, and he falls to the ground. There's that infamous shot of Yor catching a tray at this party with her foot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this episode was really good, and it ends with uh, Lloyd taking a grenade and throwing it, but using the uh, the, the ring from that uh, to put onto Yor's finger, and that's literally how the episode ends. The only negative that I have for this, like the only major one, is uh, 
the credits. They play before the episode's over, and it just it's kind of distracting. Episode 1 didn't do this, but episode 2 did. Um, I did not like the end credit sequence, because it just, it just starts scrolling on the bottom of the screen, and it's distracting. And it goes on for like two or three straight minutes, kind of distracts you from the final scene. Other than that, really solid episode. Um, I really like it. Kind of wish there was more uh, to do with Anya. Um, the episode literally starts with a really fantastic opening sequence. Really sorry that I can't show clips of this because I want to avoid copyright. But, yeah. Um, this episode gets a 6 out of 7. Yeah. Um, the next episode um, will be up on Sunday because I do have uh, a re-review of Bioshock coming out tomorrow. I might play a little bit more of the game again um, before we really get into that. <coughs> Still sick, sorry. <clears throat> Maybe do a challenge room or something. <clears throat> yeah, I'm drinking a monster. First one in a couple of weeks. I've been doing good. So, yeah. <clears throat> I like the pacing. The atmosphere is really good. I like the phony backstories, which, uh, if they were actually real, they would definitely be... Uh, uh, they'd, have, they'd definitely have more of an emotional impact. But I, I really like this one. Uh, yours introduction was very good, very solid. Um, and of course, very brief, because each episode, you know, has to get everything going. The opening sequence was great. Um, I really like the opening credit sequence of this. Um, but yeah. Secure a wife, definitely worth it. I'm sorry that it took almost three months. Uh, literally over two and a half now, at this point. At the time of this, uh, for me to get back to this anime. I've just had a lot on my plate, a lot to deal with, and I've been sick this week. But yeah, um, I will do one Spy Family review uh, every two days um, to anticipate the release of the movie Code White. Well, there might not be enough time, but regardless, I will get season one reviewed and done uh, before I see the movie. Even if I have to watch it on Crunchyroll, I will do that. But yeah, uh, so that's my review um, of Spy Family Mission 2, Secure a Wife. Uh, but I want to hear your thoughts. What was uh, your favorite moment from this episode? Or did you see it yet? Let's talk down in the comments. And, uh, yeah. Also, if you couldn't tell, the opening of this video was obviously from a later date. Don't be surprised if that happens. Anyway, see you guys for my re-review of Bioshock. And then Sunday, I will review Mission 3 of Spy Family Season 1. Later!